So I am uh, looking at this little crystal, and it is, uh, it's very cubic. You can see a, like a, a three-sided corner here, kind of like a box. And the parts of the crystal then line up with that uh, orientation. And you can see a sort of checkerboard pattern across the entire stone. And, and that is because this whole thing is a piece of platinum. It is platinum. It is so very cubic. It carries that cubic structure with it across the entire stone, and they just, all the parts of it line up in perfect little rows and columns. And that's what causes cubic symmetry. Okay, and this this uh, kind of chatoyancy here where the whole thing lights up is because all of those planes of cleavage, and that's what, what it creates, so each straight flat line creates uh, what we call a plane of cleavage, and that means when it breaks, breaks along those lines. Um, and they, um, they are all lined up together. That's what you see there, is when they all line up together, and that begins to show you that the whole thing is one solid crystal of platinum. This whole thing is a crystal of platinum. It's noted for having hoppers. Hoppers are a dished out place. And that's what this is. This little dished out place is part of the crystal structure. And it'll have a, another non-dished out place on the other side. Um, and so that's probably this part here. Innies and outies, kind of like belly buttons. And, and they go in and like um, mm, spirals and stair steps. So it's uh, um, that's what makes uh, platinum crystals so very, very useful in uh, chemical reactions. It's uh, used as a catalyst in chemical reactions. So all of a sudden, <laughs> we have lots and lots of it because nobody actually noticed the fact that this is not quartz in granite. It's not quartz at all. Quartz does not have planes of cleavage. Can't have planes of cleavage. Um, quartz is seven on the Mohs scale of hardness. This is not. Um, and, and I don't know what this is, but it's not seven. Um, and quartz doesn't have planes of cleavage. Um, and quartz melts at 1,250 degrees Celsius, or pretty close to that, something near that about 1,250 degrees Celsius. Platinum 
melts at 1768, so 500 more degrees to melt platinum than it is to melt silica. I can melt silica. The, the rocks that make up silica turn into glass when you melt them, right? Quartz. And that's how we make glass. Well, this stuff, we use it to make crucibles with in the laboratory because it has such a very, very, very high melting point, 1,768 degrees, almost 2,000 degrees Celsius. So, this is platinum. <laughs> I checked. <laughs> I checked. And it's that melting point that's the clencher. I had to use a, um, a plasma cutter before I got something that was hot enough to melt it. And once it did, it acted like any other metal. And the problem isn't that it's so hard to do, it's that I don't have much money and I've been really, really sick. So uh, it's real hard to take care of yourself and, uh, and do science at the same time. But I did it, and we are going to bring this stuff to the world uh, the first week in 2020. I will be bringing it down to the uh, university down the road, and we're going to have people take a look and see what we can see, because this right here is not rare. Uh, heretofore, platinum has been ten times more rare than gold, and now the two of them together, AUPT, is more common than iron, and platinum, too. And when they're mixed together, they make a really, really hard metal. Harder than surgical steel. So we can use it for, in place of iron. How about that? And it doesn't require a bunch of uh, pollution to get to. It's ready to go. You go out, you pick up the rock, and you melt it. That's all you gotta do. It's the whole darn mountain. You know why mountains are shaped like that? <laughs> because they're made out of platinum crystals. <laughs> sure enough. That's why they look like they do. That is exactly why. And, and these little doohickeys the, from, the, from the plains of cleavage create all those lines and things that we see on the sides of mountains. Um, when, when you look up and you see all those lines, uh, we, we've been told they were laid down year after year over a long period. It's not true, man. Not true. This stuff is um, part of the way that planet Earth has been terraformed. And it has been. Take a look at Google Earth. Meanwhile, we got plenty of platinum. 